So the Paddy Bauer Maiden chases next in, two and a half mile maiden, and the top one is Cabazon Ayo Juilos. Can he do that? Stu Gray, Desert Orchid, Ghost Zapper, Frank and Furza, Kevin Meenahan, Judas Priest, Martin Needham, Lizzie's Boy, Darren Howes, Rigazzoni, James Follis, Yeoman Spirit, Alex Cherry, Excellent, He's a Rarity, Doug Warren, Lake House, Jim Murray, Mad Maddie, Carl Aragante, and Money Goes Your Way, Darren Thompson. So a dozen of them then, and away they go. Very short run to the first, and oh, something's down, it's Judas Priest has gone, so Judas Priest is out of the race at the very first fence then, and can he now do that? He's the leader, but two greys chasing him, and on the outside, Detted Orchid comes to this ditch, and out jumps everybody and goes into the lead, so, do a surprise seeing Desert Orchid in the lead, is it? I'm surprised how John Morgan's managed to be able to call a horse Desert Orchid, though, I thought it was a name that was not allowed by the software anyway over we go over the second and excellent he's a rarity desert orchid and can he do that three in a line with lake house back in fourth and money goes away is the one that's heading the main group of this leading four I've pulled a few lengths clear although jim murray's horse lake house looks like it is being restrained to drop back to the pack and desert orchid leads by about a neck to can he do that in second excellent he's a rarity he's third lake house just dropping back to the pack in fourth as they take the next and all safely over that one with desert orchid now having a clear lead of a couple of lengths to can he do that and then the second gray excellent he's a rarity he didn't jump that one at all right down on its nose and i've seen that one drop back to the pack as well and as they take the fence it'll be the last on the next circuit then Race up past the stands. There's an orchid five lengths clear coming past the winning post at Kempton. Not something that well, a few of us never thought we'd see again. And those three or four blokes waving ferociously at the winning post. Obviously enjoying every minute of it. So it's Desert Orchid in the lead from Canny they do that in second. Next let he's a rarity is third and Lake House is four. When he goes he weighs five and then Frank and Fluid six and Lizzie's boys seven and then Mad Midi and Yeoman Spirit and then Rigazzoni and finally Cabazon as they take the water. And they're all over that one okay, as usual. And Desert Orchid being chased by Can he now do that? With excellent he's a rarity third as they take fence number eight. And they're all safely over that one as well. With Desert Orchid's lead down to half a length now. Looks like some jockey cam action on excellent he's a rarity. Oh he's down! Goodness me! Oh yes, I know some of the race runners have been trying to get that to happen for some time, but that was a Spot on time to go to the jockey cab and poor old Doug, his horse is jockeys on the deck and I'm sure, it, well I'm pretty sure Doug's not going to be as pleased about that as everybody else will be but we've been trying for a few seasons to get a jockey cab on a faller and we've finally done it so whoever's the race runner well done and Desert Orchid's in the lead then from Can they do that in second Lake House is third, Frankenfurter is fourth as they take the next and the commentator tries to get back to some sort of sensibility and can he now do that to come up on the outside of Desert Orchid. Then comes Lake House and Frankenfurter with Muddy Goes He Way after that one. Lizzie's boys getting closer. I had to put money on it being a Darren House horse that was the first one to fall with a jockey cam but um, shows you what I know. And Yeoman Spirit and Cabazon have dropped away a little bit. And while I was doing all that waffling, Mad Maddie and Regazzoni have also departed the race. Maybe at the same time as Excellent He's a Rarity. So they've got five furlongs to race now then. And Desert Orchid comes to this next one. Just about in the lead from Canning they do that. Then Lake House and Frankenfurt. And Lizzie's Boy is next. But it's a strange race this one isn't it and can they do that and Desert Orchid now being pressed by Lizzie's boy on the inside money goes away looking for some room then comes Lake House and Frank and Furt. and I think we can forget the Omen Spirit and Cabazon but they're into the straight then now they've got three furlongs left to race and Lizzie's boy has gone to the lead from can they do that and Desert Orchid they're beginning to struggle a little bit treading water from around the outside money goes away and Lake House this is the third from home over it goes Lizzie's boy in the lead here comes Lake House 
Stenhouse and Jim Murray in second. Then Moody goes away, he's in third. Desert Orchid's beaten, so is Cali now do that. Running on his Frankenfurter, over the second last they go. And it's Lizzie's boy, Lake House, Moody goes away. Then Frankenfurter, they race to the final fence. And it's Lizzie's boy in the lead, but Moody goes away now, looks a big challenger on the outside. Lizzie's boy, and Moody goes away. Lizzie's boy doesn't want to give in, but Moody goes away, suddenly surges into the lead. And up towards the line, Moody goes away, he's got to take it. Lizzie's boy probably just on the second from Lake House and Frank and Fur it's a desert orchid disappointed and then can they do that so money goes away takes it for Darren Thompson Lizzie's boy second for Darren Howes Lake House third for Jim Murray fourth Frank and Fur Kevin Meadhan Desert Orchid fifth for Ghost Zapper he'll probably be disappointed with that one